Welcome back everybody to the hills of Tennessee. What a beautiful day in October. Uh, October 23rd, Tennessee Alabama football game tonight. And I'm fixing to do some antenna work. This is a little bit different video. Uh, looking up through the sky, it's turned partly cloudy, but looking up through my pecan trees. Um, but uh, I'm going to install a center insulator in uh, uh, a dipole antenna. And so I wanted to have a special shout out to Doug from the YouTube uh, channel Moss Slack. Um, I reached out to him and told him what I wanted and uh, drew up a little design, sent it to him, and he printed it. Let me. Uh, get around here and show you what uh, what the project is. This is just going to be a little short video, probably no more than five minutes or so. Let me let me relocate. Maybe I can do this without uh, making you dizzy. This is my tower. Uh, and as you can see, the large antenna on the bottom is a tri-band beam. It was made in about 1978 or so. Uh, it's a Wilson System 36. Uh, I'm going to have to replace it. Uh, I've got problems with it, and it's just outlived its usefulness. The little beam underneath, or just above that, is a 440 beam that I use on uh, amateur television, and then on top is a 2 meter beam that I use locally, hit different repeaters and talk to people simplex. Uh, if you'll see, Right here, lay right there, is some ladder line. That is the ZS6BKW um, antenna multiband that I'm using. And then there is the 80 meter that we're going to replace the uh, center insulator on right there. Okay, right there is the antenna. That is a dipole antenna, which means two parts. Uh, the coax is connected. Right now, all that is is just a, one little center insulator. And that leg goes down that way, and the other one comes all the way across and goes that way. Now, I'm probably making you dizzy, and I'm sorry. But... Uh, I plan on dropping that down. That is, uh, if you look, I've got a, a pulley and I will lower that down with a rope, get it on the ground. Let me show you what I'm gonna put up, what Doug has uh, made for me. Okay, like I say, many thanks to Doug uh, Mosslack for uh, making this for me. And this is just a demonstration of how it's gonna go. Uh, he printed this and the rope to support it will be in this hole of course this is the coax it comes through loops through comes back through goes to this connector this connector and then if you see right here there's two holes which i'm going to have to drill out because i'm using number 10 wire a lot of people use 14 16 gauge wire mine is number 10 because i had a lot of number 10 gauge wire <laughs> So I used. So what I'm going to do uh, is um, drop the antenna and weave this, weave the antenna in. In. Uh, let's see. It'll come out. It'll come in this side. Go around. Come back out this hole, and then connect to this terminal. And of course, the coax will be connected to this terminal. And then I'll do the wire on the other side. Uh, this will be. Uh, tighten down. I'm using brass fittings and double locked on the back. I'll weatherize it and hoist it right back up where it's at. I'll show you when I get it done. Here's the finished product. Um, as you can see I use double nuts on the back to uh, jam those together to lock those. Um, I will come back and I will weatherize these connections. Now, one thing you'll take note 
uh, you can see I used brass and some brass washers, but those eyes, those eyelets, eye connectors, are soldered to the coax and also soldered to the wire. And I clamped them together and I soldered those two together. I don't know if you can see it or not, but those two eyes are soldered together. So the electrical connection is not necessarily these, this brass. It's actually soldered together on each side. So that should be a real good connection. Like I say, I want to really thank Doug. Uh, he has uh, really come through for me. I think uh, he, he would not take any money. Uh, but I still owe you one, Doug. And don't say no. Let me know what, what I can do for you. Uh, he uh, wanted to, he said, no, I'm not going to charge you anything. He didn't even take the postage. Uh, he wanted to try and see how the, the, the something printed would hold up in this situation. We're looking at the strength of it and also whether it will weather you know through the storms and I will keep giving him updates as we go along if this one lasts as long as the other one uh, this may be my last one <laughs> so that's going to do it for here so thanks thanks again Doug I really do appreciate it and that's what the YouTube community does we we take care of each other so give everybody a thank you to Doug for for this project because it, without Doug it wouldn't have happened. So, from Larry, from the hills of Tennessee, thanks for watching.